So, with all the craziness going on with sexual assaults and the Me Too movement being used for political means, I thought this was appropriate for the context. A black child's backpack brushed up against a woman. She called 911 to report a sexual assault. Now listen to this crazy story, because the term sexual assault has been expanded so much that it encompasses almost anything. So this is one that really gets the blood boiling. This is absolutely incredible. A New York woman became the subject of ridicule and hatred on social media after she falsely accused a boy of groping her while she was shopping inside a deli. Teresa Klein, who is white, created a commotion earlier this week outside the Sahara Deli Market in Brooklyn's Flatbush neighborhood as she appeared to tell a 911 dispatcher that the boy, who was black, assaulted her. The spectacle was captured in a now viral video and Klein, a 53-year-old Brooklyn resident, has been nicknamed Cornerstone Carolyn, much like Barbecue Becky. No, I want the cops here right now, Klein said as she held the phone up to her ear and a crowd of angry onlookers began to gather around. The boy, wearing a tucked-in green shirt and carrying a backpack, began to cry as the woman in aviator glasses and knee-high boots accused him of grabbing her. The crowd grew angrier, screaming at Klein, who had covered her other ear as she continued to talk to the 911 operator. I was just sexually assaulted by a child, Klein said. Are you seriously calling the police? A woman can be heard saying. New York resident Jason Littlejohn recorded the Wednesday incident and shared it on Facebook, where it has since been viewed more than 5 million times. The incident comes amid a string of controversies involving black or brown people who have found themselves the subject of 911 calls. Such false alarm emergency calls over non-emergency incidents, many of which have been captured on video, has raised questions about whether these calls had less to do with what someone was doing, but because of the person's race. On Friday, Klein went back to the corner store where reporters surrounded her. Later, Klein, the reporters, and several onlookers, many with phones held up, crowded inside the small deli where surveillance footage of the alleged grabbing was being played on a screen mounted on a wall. The video showed Klein standing at the register as the boy walked past her with his blue backpack and a plastic bag in his right hand. As the boy's bag appeared to brush against Klein, she looked behind her, seeming startled. Another Facebook video, also uploaded by Little John, showed Klein watching the surveillance footage. Onlookers screamed at Klein and called her a liar after the footage revealed she was wrong. But Klein seemed oblivious and spoke only to the reporters who asked her what she thought after watching the footage. The child accidentally brushed up against me, she acknowledged. Looking into one of the TV cameras, she apologized to the boys whose identity was not known. Young man, I don't know your name, but I'm sorry. The Washington Post was unable to reach Klein on Saturday. A number she was heard giving to the dispatcher during her 911 call is no longer in service. She told Fox affiliate WNYW that she is not racist and that she called 911 because the boy's mother had become aggressive towards her. New York police said the department did not receive any complaints or 911 calls coming from the deli's address. There have been several incidents in the past year involving black people whose banal activities were viewed with suspicious lens. Hence came living while black. For a 12-year-old boy in Ohio, it was mowing the lawn. For an 8-year-old girl in California, it was selling water outside the apartment building where she lives. And for a pair of young black men in Philadelphia, it was sitting inside a Starbucks waiting for a person they were supposed to meet. For a black lawmaker in Oregon, it was canvassing in her district. For a Yale University graduate student, it was napping in one of the school's common rooms. For a group of black sorority girls in Pennsylvania, it was picking up trash on a highway as part of a community service. For a former Obama administration White House staffer, Darren Martin, it was moving into his new Manhattan apartment. Martin is one of a group of black people who wrote to the House and Senate Judiciary Committees last summer asking for a hearing on racial profiling, the Washington Post Cleve R. Woodson Jr. reported. In September, New York State Senator Jesse Hamilton, Democrat of Brooklyn, held a town hall meeting called Living While Black. Hamilton also had introduced legislation that would make falsely reporting an incident a hate crime. The bill remains in committee. So that's pretty interesting. You know, if there wasn't any footage to prove that this boy did not sexually assault this woman, how many people from Me Too or how many women who have already been upset about the Kavanaugh saga would have accused this little boy of doing the same? This is what we're talking about. False instances of sexual assault. Everything is being called sexual assault now. He brushed up against her by accident and now it's a sexual assault. You know, according to the law, when you're out in public, you consent to a certain level of contact. Not one of a sexual nature, of course, but look at how this has exploded. I will say, if there was not video footage, proof, evidence that this boy did not do this, that this black child did not sexually assault this 53-year-old woman, tell me that there would not be outcry. Absolutely incredible. Wow. You know, it really makes you wonder how many times this woman, and others like her, has done this to people. You know, the women like this are not doing the Me Too movement any favors. Sexual assault, come on. I guess this little boy's Brett Kavanaugh. 
I think this woman probably needs some kind of mental evaluation and she needs to be checked out to make sure she doesn't go on to falsely accuse another child or man of sexual assault. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here. Remember, always be diligent. Always scrutinize claims and look for the truth. Take care of yourselves. Thank you.